Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I wanted to talk to you guys about a conversation I had with one of my close friends um, just the other day. So she is a girl in her late 20s and she has gone back into the dating scene. Um, she took about six months, about probably about a year break from her last relationship and she just figured it was that time to get back in. She was comfortable, ready. The situation that she's having right now or the issue that she's having right now is that she started dating a guy and um, basically he's been he's asked more than once um, and he's really just wanting to know how many guys she's been with in her past okay she brought this up because she thought it was very odd that somebody asks and not just ask once but more than once um, and she's very uncomfortable with that like that's a piece of her that's very private you know why is he asking what is he getting out of it like i don't want to go in there lying i don't want to go in there feeling like i'm like I'm, I'm revealing such a private piece of me you know i'm just starting to get to know this person you know what should i do and my response to that i mean it's unfortunate but this does happen pretty frequently okay people will ask you this and it's not just like people that you've been kind of seeing for a while it's people that you've met like two three days two three days into it they feel like this is okay to ask okay um and to me those are just red flags all over the place okay if you think about it there's absolutely no reason why that's relevant to you dating this person today whoever you're asking today why would it matter how many people I've been with in my past now in the present? Why, why does it matter? What is that going to change? And before people start saying like, oh, you want to know if they're, you know, they've been around and, you know, they probably got a high number. If they don't want to say anything and blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's, that's not always the case. Okay. And I, if it is, I'll get to that as well. But that's not always the case. Like my friend mentioned to her, that's so private. That's a private piece. That's a that's something private that you do, okay? And or you've done. Um, why should I have to share that with somebody I just met? Like, why? Why is that? Like, why do you feel like you have the right to ask me that? And another thing is, you know, people automatically assume it's like, oh, they're not going to tell you because they got a high number and blah 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 blah. It's not always the case either. Some people have low numbers and maybe maybe a little bit embarrassed about that. Guys and, and women. You know, it's not always the case that they're over there, you know, they've got, you know, a book full of, you know, people they're, you know, been with and proud of. It's it's not. You just don't know somebody's situation. You don't know them. You don't know their situations because you don't know them. That's where you gotta just kind of step back and realize that. How about you get to know the person, not judge them based on their low or high number like why does that matter do you do you ask them about you know all the bad things they've done in their past then why do you ask about this it's to me it says it's got red flags or no if somebody asks you that it's it to me that comes off as a very insecure person because why would that what what is that gonna do today what is that going to do for you today for this person that's asking besides the fact that if you're honest and give them a number deep down inside that's all they're going to think about that's all they're going to think about they're going to look at you and think of a number because if you're that insecure that you feel like you need to ask about how many people your your current partner or the person you're dating has been with that is all you're going to think about it's automatically going to be a turn off that's what's going to happen. So it's like, if you're okay with dating an insecure person, hey, have at it. Like, go ahead. Do do what you got to do. But to me, today's me, like, I wouldn't tolerate anybody asking me that. That's, that's my private life. That's it. That's all you need to know. Like, you should be asking me about my personality finding out what my favorite color is, where my favorite vacation was, what else I like to do in my spare time, you know, what I want to do 
what's my dream. But asking me about that? <laughs> like, I have no words for that. So, in my opinion, the second you give somebody... <sighs> the second you give somebody, like, that part of you, you allow them to cross that boundary, which is clearly, clearly a big boundary to cross. That's only going to show how insecure they are about everything else you do. For whatever reason, in their head, they're always going to be comparing themselves. They're not, they may not even show you. They may, they may not. To your past. And that's going to go for everything else going forward. That's what you're pretty much setting yourself up for. Okay? Like, again, it just makes no sense. Like, like think about it. Think about this for one second. Why does it matter? That's my past. This is me today. Here's what happened. Don't ask me. I don't ask you because I don't, I don't want to throw up all over myself. Good or bad, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care how that number is. I don't want to throw up all over myself. I don't need to know that. Why do I care about that? Why do I care about that? Now, if you look, as I'm getting to know you, if you look like that type that plays games and plays with women... I'm going to care about that, but that's because I got to know you through your personality. Your actions are going to show that. I could care less about your number. Vice versa. If, I, if I'm showing signs, then yeah, you should probably worry. You should probably worry. If you're looking for a real relationship and I'm showing you signs, that to me this is all a game and I'm out there whatever doing whatever... Then, yeah, you should. There you go. Take the signs. Get to know me to get that. I To me, it makes absolutely no sense to ask that number. It's just, to me, it says a lot about the individual who's asking that number. Like, what's, what's your reasoning? Like, why? To me, it's just... It's... It's, it's that point where you just know... That the questions are going to get worse and worse. They want to know like all about your past. All about your ex-boyfriend. All about exactly what you did with who. And all about. And it's just deep down inside. They're, they are so insecure. They've got such confidence issues. That they're literally going to eventually probably trap you just to themselves and away from the world. That's how it looks. That's when people are that insecure. That's what happens. That's what you're setting yourself up for. They're going to want to know where you're at, who you're with, when you're coming home. And I, I'm not exaggerating at this point because I only say it because I've been there myself. As you know, when you're young and you're dating, you don't you don't see the signs off the beginning of things. But they do come out later on. And it follows a pattern each and every single time. And it's just like it's 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 such an it's such a it's such a like unhealthy, toxic relationship that you're getting yourself into or whatever though you know it's 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 not healthy at all not even close to it so my advice to this person my friend <laughs> will be just to let this person go like you don't owe anybody an explanation that's your personal life just like you don't talk about at the beginning you know you're not required to talk about personal things that happened with your family when you were younger, traumatic things. You don't even have to bring that up if you don't want to. Now, if you're comfortable with it, you do what you need to do. That's cool. But you're not re you're not required to tell anybody that. That's just that stuff that's happened to you. That's your personal life. That's your personal life. You don't owe anybody an explanation. And you telling them no doesn't if they're automatically going to think, oh, it's because your number's high, there's the door, okay? You could follow these high numbers of mine right out the door that you feel like they're there. Why would I want to settle with somebody that's going to judge me left and right after that? Or I feel like I have to lie because they feel like, they look like they would freak out if I told them whatever it is that, you know, they're not able to hear. Why? It sets it sets a tone. Basically, it's 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 just you're setting yourself up for failure 
within probably weeks or months of that. Now, hopefully it doesn't reach years because it's one of those relationships where those people have absolutely no rights down the line. Because this person is so on them, so micromanaging because of their own insecurities that they literally trap their partner away from the world. And it's I know it's going to be like, oh, it's kind of exaggerating. When, no, it happens. It happens. It may not happen all of the time, but it happens a lot of the time. Okay, that's again, it says a lot about the individual that's asking you that question. If I'm confident, I don't care what your number is. I don't care. It's none of my business anyways. I'm going to judge you on the person that you are today. I don't care what you did last week or, you know, last month. I don't care what you did in your past relationships. I'm not going to ask about that. And I'm going to do that by getting to know you. You know, yeah, you may ask your basic, like, why did you guys break up? Or how long have you guys been together? But if I'm going to ask you personal questions like that, that says a lot about me. And me, myself, I know better than that. I just, I don't, I know better and I don't compare myself to anybody else. Well, why would I care? Okay. So yeah, I mean, this one came out a little long, guys. Um, I thought it was interesting. I asked my friend. She, she definitely allowed me. So thank you. Thank you. You're probably watching this um, for for sharing this with you guys. I thought this was an interesting one. Just as I mentioned it, you got to you gotta run from this one. Don't even walk. Just run. Because that's all types of crossing type of boundaries. It's just it has problems written all over it. Red flags are literally like way up high. It's It's not... It's almost kind of, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's just degrading. It's, it's, it's just disrespectful to even like, how could you ask somebody so personal? It's such a personal question and just expect them to just like, yeah, you know, it's, it's not, you're not asking me about my age. You're not asking me, you know, what my hobbies are. You're talking about like personal stuff in my past. Anyways, guys, um, just my um just my thoughts on this one i i would definitely not at least not at my age i wouldn't tolerate that when i was younger i probably would have been like oh my god asking oh my god and no at this age where you where you were getting you know wiser and we're learning a lot more we've learned through through our mistakes and through our past um definitely don't let people walk over with their with their insecurities all over you it's just no it's not ladies hold your standards high you know so um, I hope you guys like this video. If you've been in something like this, let me know. Comment below. Share. What did you do about it? How did you handle it? Make sure you like, subscribe, please. And I will see you guys in my la next video. Bye.